Wren's Nest in Dudley is a national nature reserve, tucked away in the heart of the industrial West Midlands. It's an internationally famous geological location and was declared a site of special scientific interest in 1990. It's one of the places I love taking groups on a field trip. It's a great place to learn some basic geological principles. The Silurian limestones and shales have been folded into an arch so that the layers on one side dip to the east and on the other side to the west. A geological fault has cut the arch in two with the west side down thrown relative to the east. One curious feature is that the limestones contain round masses that the old quarrymen called ballstones. Close inspection reveals that the ballstones are made of coral. Most geologists think these structures were small coral reefs that grew slowly in the place where we now find them. This presents an apparent problem for flood geology because during the flood there wouldn't have been time for these reefs to grow. But German geologist Joachim Schevern has shown that similar structures in the Silurian limestones of Sweden are not in the place where they grew. Some of them are lying on their side or even upside down, suggesting that they were blocks of coral limestone that had been moved by water and dumped there. Perhaps these ballstones are fragments of reefs that were growing before the flood and that were broken up, transported and redeposited by the flood waters. Another interesting feature at Wren's Nest is a large rock face covered in fossil ripple marks. These ripples were formed by wave action in the shallow flood waters and preserved when they were rapidly covered with more sediment. However, Wren's Nest is most famous for its well-preserved and abundant fossils. Over 600 species have been found here, 186 of them unique to Wren's Nest. One of the most common is the trilobite Kalimini blumenbachii, which has become known as the Dudley bug. Some of the trilobites are found rolled up or even upside down, testifying to their rapid burial. Wren's Nest is a very fine place, not only to pick up some basic geological concepts and to build up your own collection of fossils, but also as a mute witness in the heart of industrial England to the global flood in the days of Noah.